This is my upcoming uh, Chateaui Trace 2016 through hike gear list. Um, I went to go print out the list and my printer, which I haven't used in forever, uh, is nearly out of ink. But basically I have a pack weight of 16.96 pounds without food and water. I have 0.92 pounds of consumables. Um, clothing was around four point, uh, I don't I can't even tell what those last letters, but totals 2188 without food. I'm doing a 10 day resupply and uh, I'm going to be carrying somewhere between 16 and 20 pounds of food. Um, and I was trying to keep the pack weight below 15 pounds for that reason. Um, but I had two options on carrying that much food. I could either do a 30 liter dry bag that I've had for a few years or I could try to fit 10 days of food in a BV500 bear canister. And um, the thing with the dry bag is you have to hang it. Uh, and then I would have had to carry a rope and you know, usually one or two carabiners. And the dry bag weighed um, two ounces less than the BV500. So I decided to uh, use the BV500 and try to fit 10 days worth of food in there. And uh, I'm going to do a separate video on the food. Um, so right now my planning stage, this is basically what I've got. And you're going to find that a large portion of my weight is actually in clothing because I'm not sure what the weather is going to be like then. Um, I'm still a few weeks out and this time of year the weather can do anything so uh, so this could go down quite a bit. Uh, let's just go ahead and get over to the clothing. One of the heaviest items in the clothing believe it or not um, I've got this here. This is what I plan to take. This is my uh, Marmot uh, 700 down puffer jacket for camp shoes I got these off of Amazon they're super lightweight then I have uh, in case it gets cold at night I've got a beanie I've got some silk line gloves and I have a silk base layer both the shirt and the pants for rain protection I have a frog togs poncho then I keep an extra pair of Columbia pants, detachable pants, extra pair of socks, and an extra shirt. And all of my clothing goes into this dry sack. Moving over to what I wear, Brooks Cascadia Trail Runners. Um, a leather belt with a um, titanium leatherman that also has an Exotech fire rod my Columbia shirt, Columbia shorts, ex officio boxers, darn tough socks, my trekking poles, and a bandana cap. So that's what I wear. As far as the backpack, um, for this trip, because it's longer than five days, I've upgraded to, uh, I'm actually taking my last year's um, Exos 58, Osprey Exos 58. I have the Osprey um, Hydraulic LT 2.5 liter water bladder. Um, because I'm going to be filtering so much water, I'm taking the Sawyer Squeeze instead of the Mini along with the plunger. Then I take two smart water bottles for extra and then I have an additional um, waste pack where I usually put snacks and that sort of thing so that way I don't have to keep taking stuff out of the pack um, I may or may not actually take that it just kind of depends uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see many groundhog steaks for those for the tarp I've got my Eno Pro Nest that I use whoopee slings on and tree straps. 
Z-Pax Cuban Fiber Tarp and my hammock gear under quilt and top quilt they are, they are both the 40 degree models the under quilt has two ounces of over stuff the top quilt is just plain in my essentials bag I've got wet, wipe, wet wipes, toilet paper, toothpaste and hand sanitizer I got a first aid kit that I've kind of customized put together on my own I have a headlamp that has uh, both white and red I carry a uh, hank of about 20 feet of bank line it's pretty light um, just in case I ever need it I actually had one time where my uh, I couldn't find uh, anywhere to secure my tarp uh, because the trees were too far apart and um, the weird thing about it was I had to cowboy camp on the ground basically with the tarp just laying over top of me um, so I always carry some extra line now um, that right there is my homemade cozy for cooking food in this is the same kit that I normally take but I'm doing things a little differently this time my primary fuel on this is going to be biomass and then I'm taking a few esbit tablets in case it rains or uh, that sort of thing just go ahead and get this dumped out so I have a uh, titanium spork this is Vargo. I upgraded from the Sea to Summit Long Spoon to the Vargo Titanium Spork. The same GSI Minimalist Cook Pot Kit uh, that I always in every video have trouble getting the lid off of. Uh, so I have five Esbit tablets in there. A lighter and the DX stove ever new titanium DX stove and then you need the alcohol stove in order to cook the esbits on the opposite side I've done videos on this I'll link to it then my uh, camp towel and I believe somewhere in there is also should be A scouring pad all right so the thing about the BV 500 is it weighs a little over two pounds um, I started carrying a camp chair this year that weighs like 1.1 pound so by taking the BV 500 it can now serve also as my camp chair and um, so it's going to be lighter as far as the method because if I would have taken a 30 liter dry bag which weighed just a few ounces less than a BV then I probably would have also taken a camp chair which would have been around three pounds for food storage and a camp chair where by using a BV 500 I dropped down to like just a little over two pounds and that can also serve as my camp chair so that was kind of another reason why I decided to use the BV 500. I'm not sure if the food is actually going to fit. And we'll figure that out in about a week when I do the food video. Alright, as far as like luxury items. Um, I'm going to be taking my Garmin 62SC GPS. Um, it gets roughly um, 24 hours out of Interlope Pro batteries. Uh, with a 10 day resupply and 12 hours of daylight by the time I do this hike the sun will rise around 7.30 and set around 7.30 p.m. so I'll have 12 hours of hiking time and uh, since the batteries get about 24 hours I charged them up, stuck it in the Garmin and actually checked on it every hour um, until the batteries went dead and it was actually a little more than 24 hours but not 25 hours so basically um, I'll have to change the batteries every other day it means I need five pairs of batteries or ten batteries um, 
I have two, four, six, two that's in it, four right now. So I'm short two pairs. I have uh, two more pair coming from Amazon Prime. Um, I will only be carrying one set, either the northern or the southern of the maps. Uh, so I'm starting in the southern part. I'll have the southern maps with me for the first half. And then when I do my resupply, I'll have the northern half. Why am I carrying the Garmin plus the maps? Uh, I just like the track data and I take pictures sometimes with the Garmin on my to mark campsites or points of interest with the GPS. And then I also often take my heart rate monitor. I haven't decided if I'm doing that yet. But with the GPS tracks and the heart rate monitor, I can kind of compare the two side by side, blah, blah. I'm also going to be taking, um, at least I'm planning on it right now, um, a right in the rain notepad. Uh, it's actually in a right in the rain case right now. It has the pen and notepad in there. Mostly just so I can keep notes. Um, I'm, this will be, since it's a long trail, I usually always do the trail logs on the longer trails. So at the end of each day, I'll talk about how, you know, how good a shape the trail was in, any issues, any problems, positives, negatives, just general thoughts. And then that way I can kind of, when I get back, um, I can kind of blog about it. I am going to carry my, or at least I'm planning on it right now, I'm going to be carrying my uh, Sony point and shoot camera. It recharges via battery and then I'll also have my cell phone uh, which also reach will re recharge by battery so I figured it up my my cell phone with a heart rate monitor will go about one and a half days if I use the heart rate monitor and GPS it'll go three days without so I'm still kind of debating if I'm gonna do the heart rate monitor um, but I will need the batteries for uh, just generally charging the cell phone like I said resupplies 10 days cell phone will go you know one to three days depending on how I use it then the camera will go um, you know maybe a day or two depending on how many pictures or videos I do so I am taking some batteries I'm taking the anchor e7 which is the largest anchor you can get I'm also taking an anchor lipstick and a goal zero now why these two this is going to be my primary source of electricity and let's say that I underestimated how much I'm going to need and this is completely dead and my phone is dead and I need to call then I have these two so one of these is probably going to go this this would be my emergency backup so one of this will probably go in the resupply box um, just right now that I had them laid out. And then if I do take my heart rate monitor, I'll take one battery replacement for it. This is my stick pick for that turns your trekking poles into a selfie stick. And then uh, two micro USBs, one for the camera, one for the cell phone. And... Uh, I also have the Goal Zero AA recharger, so maybe I could just stick with just three sets of batteries and take it. Um, I, I really haven't decided yet. Uh, Weight-wise, I'm trying to keep everything low. Um, and AA batteries will suck the life out of that Anchor E7 quickly. I think they're rated at 2,500 uh, milliamps, and that was like 26,000. So. 25 times 4 will be 5. That'd be 10,000. I could do two full recharges of the AA batteries, and that E7 will be toast. So um, that's where we're at right now. Like I said, um, it could change depending on weather. If it gets, if it's going to be warmer than I've anticipated, I can cut back. Um, I can cut back on the puffer jacket, switch to a vest, or uh, I do have the Marmot vest. If I don't want to use a Marmot vest, I can switch to a long sleeve um, sport shirt that I have. I mean, there's a lot of options. So right now I'm three weeks out. They're expecting the lows to get down between 40 and 50 degrees at night, which means in the wilderness, 
probably 10 degrees less than that so between 30 and 40 and uh but if it's warmer this year like last year it could be you know 60 at night and then i won't need to take near as many clothes and uh that's kind of where i stand uh it would be nice if i didn't have to take as many clothes and if i didn't have to take my under quilt uh, that would really cut the weight down uh, drastically matter of fact um, but the biggest bulk of the weight is going to be in the food like i said 15 to 20 pounds not really sure yet um, so i'll go ahead and also put a list a link to the list of gear that i will update so this is my planned gear that i'm taking and the list that i'll link to at gear grams will be updated as i change my mind or add or remove things and um three weeks out so uh you'll be seeing more videos the next one after this will be the food that i'm taking and you'll definitely want to see it i'm going to show you how to make one of the most calorie dense breakfasts um, that you've ever seen and i'm also going to show you in that video how i add protein to every single meal that i eat Thanks for watching.